Hey guys, my name is Noodle Hut and welcome to Test Drive Unlimited 2. Just got this game today. I've been waiting for it. I've been playing the uh, the first game for a while. Very, very f big fan of the series. All right, at the moment we're at just one of the one of the houses. You get to choose your main character. So you can choose any of these people that are around. Um, I'm gonna go with. Go with this dude. Oh yeah, I'm playing on the PC. There's my name there, Noodle Hut. And um using Xbox 360 controller just because racing games using a mouse and keyboard is really weird. So the storyline is you're at a party and this chick's gotten you a car for your birthday. Sorry if that's a spoiler, but yeah. She's got a new car for birthday and it ends up being a dream, so yeah. Very nice Ferrari. The the voice acting isn't as smooth as it could be, but it's alright. It's you know test drive. It's a good game. If you, if you want if you if you're playing this game for the storyline, there's something wrong. Because this game's just about driving exotic cars and they're very, very fun to drive. What do you think? Do you like it? She's yours. Go ahead. Get inside and check her out. Don't be shy. Start the engine and go for yeah. a ride. Drive the garage. You get to drive this car for a little bit. As I said, you're dreaming, so... The voice comes over and is all like, Wake up, get out of my car, alright. So, yeah. basically on an island of Hawaii I think so yeah just drive around for a bit till the cutscene happens very nice car yeah oh shit Because this game actually has 360 controller support, because it's multi-platform, so they've just added that in as well. But a lot of games you'll find that you have to go and put the um the like map the controller settings manually, which can be very annoying, especially every time that happens when you plug the controller in. So yeah, a lot of driving in this game, a lot, since it is a driving game, but you still got to drive to places. But you can also use the port uh, what's it called, the teleport, um, the teleport, what is it called, teleport function in the, um, menu, so, yeah, I think you could drive around for about five minutes, and then she's all like, oh, get out of my car, rah, 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 rah. just wait for that to happen now, oh, yeah, there we go. So we wake up. Wake up. Where have you been? Do you know how long I've been waiting? I have better things to do than stand here. So hold on. Basically, she's a presenter for an um racing comp. I know I'll be late, but it's the valet's fault. It took him forever to bring my car. What? How could it? Oh, is that guy who thinks he's a professional racer? That's the last time he takes off. Pretty self-explanatory, you drive her to this race and then she'll get your position in the races. It's pretty good. You gotta drive a car again. Loading screen. 
So basically in this game you you know, you you're striving to become one of the best racers on the island. Buy you can buy real estate, uh, clubs, houses, stuff like that. Customization is okay. As I said, the game's not really about customizing your car compared to games like uh, Need for Speed and stuff like that. How the customization of your car is one of the main components. With this game, the um, it's more about driving, driving the cars. So the the um the engine sounds and the braking and everything is pretty realistic so, so um obviously not hitting signs like that is realistic but yeah um it's it, it's it's a, a lot more like high end cars that you don't you don't start with high end cars but it's more about racing those high end cars instead of tuning like need for speed i, I personally th believe that um need for speed is a whole entire different genre compared to gone the wrong way shit compared to games like this and GTA R uh, Gran Turismo Forza or for Forza like games like that that are actually simulators um this game is more of a uh a more of a simulation compared to a arcade game like um Juiced um Need for Speed games like that Oh yeah. There's um there are police driving around. You have like a bar, and if the bar goes too high, they end up chasing you. They're in a piece of shit cars. So once you get to higher content, the um police, I believe, won't have any chance at catching you. So as I said, there there's a lot, a lot of European-based cars and exotic supercars and stuff. You you do start off with like your, you know, your, your small level cars, but, you know, it's not like you have to tune them and shit like you do in Need for Speed. Personally, I think Need, Need for Speed Underground 2 was probably the best one of them. Come on, hurry up, I'm ready. And we've got a little cutscene here. <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, I will include a car list in the description, so you don't have to unlock the cars and try and find out. I'll try to do some um, like unlock videos of where where hidden cars are and stuff like that. It's basically good to get your licenses before you can compete. And since it looks like money might be an issue, let's go visit a friend of mine. He's got great cars for better prices. Follow me. The, the only cars that you'll probably recognize from uh, Need for Speed Nap, I think there's a um, Impreza, Super Impreza, and a Skyline. That's about it. Like of the tuner, tuner type cars. Piss off hand. Yeah. Probably the Mustang as well, you've probably seen. But yeah, these are your three starter cars. So, you got a Mustang, a... I don't even know what that one is. So basically you get 27 grand to start off with. You can buy a 24,500. Ford Mustang, Fastback. Um, I personally don't like muscle cars. What have we got here? Lotus. Yeah. I like the look of this car, so I'll get this one. If other people be like, oh, let's get the Mustang, yeah. Nah. <coughs> this one looks pretty good. You can test drive the cars before you buy them, but yeah. Levels to obtain in the game, social, stuff like that. Free ride instant money. Basically, 
dodge, jump, drift, you get points and then you have to cash them in, otherwise you'll lose them. Yeah, so many cutscenes when you first start out. Okay, so... That's getting your first car, rate, subscribe and all that, and... See you next